Dr. Daniel Karitskis is the chief of the Division of Infectious Diseases at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Dr. Karitskis, thanks for joining us. Good to see you. Good to see you, Ben and Erica. So as a doctor, an expert in this field, what's your message to some parents who might be worried about getting their kids vaccinated? Well, first of all, I'm not a pediatrician, but I have reviewed the data on the vaccines in uh, children and adolescents uh, really quite carefully. We know that the surge in infections that's happening now is including a much larger proportion of younger uh, children because they are the group left who are still susceptible to COVID-19. It's really critical that kids get vaccinated when they are eligible because that's going to allow them to be back in school and to do the kinds of things that kids should be doing. Well, and, and looking at the data, you haven't seen any red flags in terms of safety for kids? Because I think that's what people are really want to know. There really aren't any red flags. When people talk about long-term side effects, it's important to understand that virtually every side effect that we see from vaccines happens within the first six to eight weeks. We don't need years of follow-up to know that vaccines are safe. These are safe vaccines, even for kids 12 to 18. Well, and speaking of kids, many parents, they're increasingly worried about what the school year will look like. In Massachusetts, districts set their own rules. What would you advise right now? When should masks be required? I think as the CDC has recommended, uh, students in school should be wearing masks, as should teachers and other staff in the schools, because we're seeing this surge, and that's going to protect everybody. I think it's particularly important even during sports uh, events and, and, and practice. There was a study I heard presented earlier today that uh, in schools where kids were wearing masks during practice, there was many fewer uh, COVID vaccinations in the previous school year than uh, in those places where kids went without the masks and the majority of COVID cases happened in that setting. All right, so we can't forget this is a global pandemic. So today the WHO suggested unchecked the world could see 100 million more cases of COVID by early next year. So what numbers are you watching outside this country when it comes to where we might be headed with this? Because, of course, you know, more infections outside this country possibly means more and new variants. We are a global society, and I, I think we have to be really uh, working to ensure that we are preventing COVID from spreading throughout the globe. I would be carefully watching the rates of infection in different places, uh, the number of positive uh, infections, uh, and also the surveillance for new variants. All right, a lot more to cover on this with each and every day. Dr. Kritzka, it's good to see you. Thanks for your time. You're very welcome.